Oh, hey. Uh, yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? Sorry about that. Um, still not, still sort of a mess around here. You probably can't see it, but there's just like rubble, just destruction everywhere. So I just have to rebuild a dead channel, I guess. But, uh, what better way to start that off than with some good old fashioned comic review? Oh, wait, it's a new series. Okay. So yeah, welcome to Comic Review, the awesome show where we review some comics. Now you might be thinking, what kind of comics are we talking about? Sort of bang bang action? No, we're not talking about that. We're talking about the funnies. For example, this funny. That's a very funny funny. And uh, can't really think of other funnies at the time, but you know, just sort of like Sunday morning comics, sort of like weekday, black and white, in the newspaper. That's what they are. Do you get it? So yeah, here we are. And uh, today we're going to talk about the good old Fam Cirque, aka Family Circus. And uh, and you have no idea how just how much torture it was to just... I've been wanting to do this series for a long time, obviously, and I wanted to do Family Circus. So you just... You just open up your comics, and you just see Family Circus, and it's just taunting you, right? Because it's like, yeah, I'm bad, what are you going to do about it? You're not going to do anything, are you? And it's like, I want to make a video. I don't know what to do. I don't know what you're asking me. It's just like, yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're not going to. So now I'm going to make a video. So, uh, yeah. This comic has actually been running for over 50 years. It started in 1960, and uh, that's pretty crazy. And you have to think to yourself, for a comic that's lasted so long, how could it still be original and creative and funny? Well, uh, it's not. It's not any of those things, because it's just a, it's just a comic about your average suburban family. Obviously, things like sitcoms can do things like that well, where it's a realistic setting and it's still funny. But Family Circus is sort of not funny. And it was pretty widely appreciated in 1960s era, and you have to think to yourself, what changed? Like, it was pretty much everyone liked it back then, now everyone hates it. So what did change? Nothing. But that's not anyone's fault except for the creator, because if you actually want to sustain through the years and be looked back upon and be like, that, wow, that was good, you kind of have to change for some people, because if you're just doing the same thing over and over again, after 50 years, people start to get kind of tired of it. And Family Circus is just sort of the type of wholesome humor that you can only do so much with. They sort of set their boundary so specific on this singular family that they pretty much can't do anything with it. And obviously, of course, there are limitations on, first of all, being very down-to-earth and a very uh, realistic comic. There are also restrictions with having a singular panel to work on six days out of seven, and then on Sunday, he usually just does one panel again. And I'm not saying that one panel comics can't be done well. Comics like The Far Side do it very well, where it's just sort of bizarre enough that the one-liners work. But for a comic like Family Circus that's so unintelligent, it can't really pull off one panel strips. And as with anything wholesome, there have been a lot of parodies and fan-made things that are just either or different or gross or something like that and usually that would be ruining the original thing or like spoiling it for people but they're actually a lot better than the original because after you read like 30 comics about the imaginary ghost not me it's kind of interesting to see oh demonic possession that's pretty cool you know i might i might look a bit more at that and it's kind of stupid to say, obviously, because there's always the people that are like, this the logic doesn't make sense. But the logic doesn't make sense. For a comic that's so intent on crafting this completely boring world, the parents are kind of stupid, and the kids are stupid, and everyone's stupid. That's the defining adjective that I've gotten out of the entire series. Oh, wow better stop your kid from uh, playing with the saws that are just sitting in a box like there in that general in that general location as you can see it's the sort of humor that if it happened in real life the first time you'd be like oh that's cute and then after that it's just sort of mm -hmm, yeah that's that's nice 
please get out of here. But as bad as Family Circus is, it's probably not going anywhere. The original creator, Bill Keen, passed it down to his son, Jeff, and it's probably going to keep going for eternity, or the foreseeable future. Overall, I would probably give Family Circus a 10 out of 25, I'd say. That being said, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll try doing more of these in the future. There are a lot of comics to talk about, and uh, I guess I'll see you guys on the next episode. Have a good life.